Hello, I'm Brian Kimmy from the United Way of Greater Waterbury Emerging Leaders here at the Cheshire Community Food Pantry with the Executive Director, Carrie Walsh. We're going to be talking about Stock the Pantry, which is currently underway. Now, Carrie, we're here in Cheshire, and when most people think about food insecurity, they think urban areas, but that's not exactly always the case, right? Right, yes. A lot of people um, get confused when they hear that there is a food pantry in Cheshire um, because Cheshire is perceived as a wealthy community, but food insecurity is everywhere. And I do try to explain the United Way's Alice population um, by sheer percentages. We have a thousand additional families in town that we are not reaching for one way, for one reason or another. Um, so it's either that they don't know about us mm -hmm. or they're ashamed to ask for help. So our mission coming out of the pandemic is to figure that out and really involve all the families that truly need us in our organization. So you mentioned the pandemic. How has that changed the, what the food pantry has been doing this past year? And are things improving at all? Um, we did change pretty drastically. We are a client choice pantry and we pride ourselves on that, but um, because the clients couldn't come in any longer, we do trunk pickups. So we do pre-ordered, pre pre-packaged uh, standard boxes mm -hmm. of food. And then if the clients have specific lists or dietary restrictions or needs, we add that or remove the things that they don't want. So it's slightly customized. Um, not exactly client choice as mm -hmm. we used to be, um, but we're hoping to get back to that soon. Um, we saw an increase of 30% of more clients during the pandemic, wow. and our volunteer count went down about 75%. Wow, that's um, a big difference. Because a lot of our volunteers are over 60, mm -hmm. so in the beginning we were hit pretty hard. We went 10 weeks with only three of us running the whole operation. Wow, that's incredible. It was, it was nutty. <laughs> um, <laughs> But now we're kind of leveling out. We are not seeing too many families retire from our program. Obviously, that's our goal. Mm -hmm. We are seeing new families, receiving new families every week. Um, and what we're also seeing that was surprising is our existing clients took in their parents or took in their children and grandchildren. So the household size has grown, wow. um, which means more food needed. Yeah, the need is real. Them. The need is growing. Right. Um, so this summer, when Stock the Pantry is taking place, you guys are definitely very receptive to Stock the Pantry and everything that it does. Definitely, yes. In the summer, we don't have a summer um, lunch or breakfast program here in Cheshire. Right. So we allocate more pounds of food to the families with school-aged children. So we're always, at this time of year, looking for cereal and snack items, um, obviously produce increases also mm -hmm. um, but any type of individual individual packets of snacks one cup servings of snacks um, anything that kids kid friendly is what we're looking for to get us through the increased need in the summer so in addition to stock the pantry do you also rely on other food pantries uh, within the United Way's um, Ten Town region you guys talk to each other, get best practices? Yes, we actually are part of the Food Resource Committee, um, which has been a, a lifeline, especially during the pandemic, um, with just sharing best practices and having people in the food pantry world that actually understand what we do mm -hmm. and what we're talking about when we say certain things, because you can be part of a nonprofit alliance and it's just general, all different nonprofits, but not specifically food pantries. So it's great to have, to get to know the neighboring pantries and we are all grateful for each other and we're all generous with each other. If someone gets a shipment of something, you know, that's too much for their clients, then they'll definitely share. We, we share all the time. Oh, that's great. So any final words that you have to say to our watchers and listeners? Um, just thank you so much for your support. Definitely. Go to unitedwaygw.org to donate to stock the pantry. Uh, it does benefit our pantry here in Cheshire as well as 10 other pantries um, because the need for food is real and it's not going to end anytime soon. Thank you. Thank you, Carrie. To learn more about United Way's Stock the Pantry and the Emerging Leaders, 
visit unitedwaygw.org.